Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Space News Pod, a show about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. I'm your host, Will Walden. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about SpaceX's Starship Orbital Flight. And we're also going to be talking about Elon Musk and his latest update to Starship. And that latest update is going to happen next week, next Thursday, 8 p.m. Texas time at Starbase, Boca Chica, Texas, Ship 20, Booster 4, will be fully stacked for this presentation by Elon Musk at Starbase. And I'm super excited because I'm only a 25 to 30 minute drive from Starbase. I'll be there on site during the day, documenting everything that I can. I'm not invited to the press conference yet, but we'll see if I can get in. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get behind the scenes streaming uh, the 10th of February at 8 p.m. Central Time. That's Texas time next week. So let's get into this orbital flight of Starship, shall we? Okay, so the orbital flight of Starship will be happening sometime after February. The FAA has an environmental study that they have to take care of before SpaceX can fly, and the FAA also has to allow SpaceX to fly Starship before this flight actually happens. Now, what's going to happen during the flight is really impressive. SpaceX is going to launch Starship, the biggest rocket ever to launch from Starbase, Texas. The booster will launch downrange into the Gulf of Mexico. And it will launch the Starship SN-20. 160 feet long. That's what the Starship SN-20 is. It's a huge thing. It's 30 feet around. And it'll launch it all the way to Kauai, off the shore of Kauai. And when it comes back in, when it re-enters the atmosphere, it'll be approaching speeds of around Mach 25. That's 19,000 miles per hour. It'll have 15 minutes of hypersonic flight coming back. It'll be hurtling sideways. There'll be tremendous heat before it adjusts into its upright position. And it'll have a soft rocket-powered ocean landing about 62 miles north of Kauai in the Navy Pacific Missile Range Facility. Now, this is the place where they take old ships, old warships, dozens of warships, over the past decades, and they do sink exercises in waters up to 15,000 feet deep. So Starship SN-20 will be in water 15,000 feet deep when it's done with its mission. This is a very impressive flight, and Hawaii's role in the orbital test of the biggest rocket ever built, the Super Heavy, which is about 400 feet tall, regulatory filings throughout the time that SpaceX has been building Starship going to eventually carry crews to the moon, to Mars, and beyond. So NASA wants to have a part of this too. NASA wants to fly a high altitude research jet, the WB-57, close enough to the Starship so they can check out the star bricks. Star bricks are what protects Starship when it comes back into the atmosphere. They absorb the heat and they will gauge the surface temperature of these Starbrick thermal tiles, see how much heat they can actually take. So NASA pointed out the earliest they could do this is March. They said targeting Starship reentry observation opportunity near March, 2022. And this was a little while ago. The timing is pretty realistic considering that if we could get a full stack of Starship within the next week, that's really great. They could take Starship apart again for the booster firing. And they could also possibly do another firing of Starship SN20 before this orbital flight. Now, if SpaceX intent to reuse or recover the Starship SN20 or the booster, no, not these ones, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're going to be lost to the sea. And SpaceX understands that this is 
the first of many Starship flights, and they're going to get a ton of data from this first flight. This flight is supposed to be about 90 minutes long. And as it enters, it'll be doing its famous belly flap routine. Supersonic boom will happen, and then it'll gently touch down outside of Kauai. Second stage, that's Starship stage. There's potential future landing sites, too. This is a really interesting thing. Future landing sites out near the Pacific Ocean. There's islands out there, and SpaceX has been looking at different islands in the Pacific Ocean for a possible landing of Starship. Hawaii is a bad place to land it, though. Not going to land in Hawaii, but there are some smaller islands out in the ocean for SpaceX's Starship to land. Eventually, Starship will land back at Boca Chica. It'll land on the orbital flight tower with Mechazilla getting the permits to uh, land in Texas. That's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of very successful flights for the FAA in Texas to trust SpaceX to land a Starship properly at Starbase Boca Chica. Also, it's dangerous right now for SpaceX to land a Starship at Boca Chica because they've never done it before. They've had test flights of Starships, but they've never test flighted a fully stacked Starship before. So that's what this first orbital flight is about. And that's what Elon Musk will be talking about in his presentation next Thursday at 8 p.m. Texas time. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like SpaceX. If you like Starship and Starbase, make sure to subscribe to the channel because there's new content coming out of Space News Pod almost every single day. I go down there, I film, I take photos. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Will Walden. This is Space News Pod, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.